What's going on guys, Chris here, and today we're taking a look at a new version of one of the most affordable button locks on the market. This knife won best buy of the year at Blade Show 2022. We are talking about the Senkut Saxi. This new version, wow, that looks good, has Kuborsha wood handles and a black stonewash 9CR blade. Multiple methods of deployment on this guy. It's got a flipper, it's got thumb studs, wonderful action. You can also just press the button and give it a little flick of the wrist. What's most amazing though about the Saxi is the price. This guy is coming in around 50 bucks. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less depending on where you buy it. I do have a coupon code set up with Senkut Sharp AF. Uh, also works with Civivi and Wii Knives as well. And I'll have this linked on Amazon as well where you can find some of the older versions from last year for like 46 bucks, which is pretty incredible what you get for what you pay. Um, and I think that makes the Saxi one of the most affordable uh, button locks out there. I was looking around on some different retailers and there are some other ones out there for just a little bit less, uh, but they look, honestly, they look kind of junky in comparison. The next closest thing were some other sand cut knives. So if you're looking for the fidget factor that you get with a button lock, but maybe you don't want to pay, man, that is good. Maybe you don't want to pay the price for a Civivi knife, which, you know, that's a personal choice. You know, pay a little bit more, you get something like the Civivi Conspirator, which is kind of similar to this. Definitely check out Senkut. This Kuborsha wood handle just came out, I think within the past week or so. And it looks like there's another new version with uh, black, is that G10? Yeah, black G10 with a satin finish blade. You can also find some other color G10 or JG10, Micarta. Here it is up against the Civivi Cubit, which I also highly recommend. And here we have the Civivi Elementum button lock number two. So it is a little bit larger than these guys coming in with a blade length of about three and a half inches cutting edge just a little bit more than three and a quarter close length looking about four and a quarter. Uh, let's throw in one more there is the Benchmade bug out and the NAFS lander. Man that is a good looking combo with the black blade and the wood handles. Oh I just Oh, can't get enough of that. Um, with that four and a quarter inch handle, for most people, you're going to have enough room for a four finger grip. You've also got the flipper tab there kind of acting as a little finger guard, keeping you away from the blade, but could potentially be of annoyance to some with the jimping there might cause some irritation. But overall, the ergos are pretty good. I can feel that pocket clip ever so slightly in my palm. Again, you might notice the jimping on the flipper tab but relatively comfortable and ergonomic handle. Oh, the action on this is incredible. This is definitely not an action I'm used to seeing on a $50 knife. Even compared to like $60, $70, $80 knives, it performs just as well. Really nice detent and a button lock that's easy to actuate and functions as expected. Nice drop point blade with a swedge. Stock thickness of about three millimeters. Looks like my batteries are dying. Uh, 0.12 inches, and it is kind of a taller blade and ends up getting nice and thin behind that edge. And I'm thinking this is going to just be a very nice slicer. Almost kind of a thumb ramp right there with some jimping up to the thumb studs. And the factory edge is not bad. The action on the Saxi is really, really nice, especially for the price. Blade still of 9CR might not be the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, it is kind of a budget steal after all, but you're paying a budget price. And the good thing about Civivi's 9CR, well, I guess Senkut's 9CR, is that it has a really good heat treat. It performs well, good corrosion resistance, relatively okay edge retention, and it sharpens really easily. The detent is pretty much perfect. I mean, right about where I would want it. All the deployment methods work really well. You can Light switch obviously is going to work good, but you can even push button that flipper tab. Thumb studs, great for reverse flick or a thumb flick. And I like the amount of distance you have between the handle and the thumb stud. So it is very easy to reverse flick or thumb flick. And being a button lock on bearings, that blade is just going to fall shut. And what's nice about the button itself is it is recessed. So it's going to be very hard to accidentally press that button. But at the same time, it's not going to take too much or an annoying amount to disengage the blade. Pretty much perfect all around. 
there is just a tiny bit of button stick, but it's actually already gotten better after just fidgeting with it the past few minutes. And no issues there on kind of a light to medium spine whack test. I don't like to go much harder than that because this is a folder after all. As long as it appears safe to use is what I'm concerned about, not necessarily the ability to baton. The pocket clip is deep carry, tip up, right side or left side. The clip is resting on top of the scales with countersunk screws. And it looks like there are a couple of standoffs and a lanyard post. Weight is coming in at 104 grams, 102 grams, or 3.6 ounces. And it looks like we do have some skeletonized steel liners. Overall, the Senkut Saxi is definitely a knife that I would recommend. It's definitely a knife that I would purchase. I really like this combo with the Gaborsha wood and the black stonewash blade. And even though it is kind of a generic profile, it is a highly functional profile. And what you get for what you pay is outstanding in comparison to other knife manufacturers these days. Absolutely love how fidget friendly it is. Amazing action, great detent, very fidget friendly. And even if you're not a fidgeter, the point is it is functional and easy to use even with one hand. Let me know what you guys think about the Sencut Saxi in the comments. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching.